Hey everybody, Dave Womack here from Bird Tricks with an exciting announcement. Introducing the first ever tea stand designed from the ground up to completely optimize your training sessions with your pet parrot. Engineered by a magician and built by an aircraft mechanic, these training stands are precision built to look great and last a lifetime. The entire perch is constructed from lightweight, non-toxic aluminum, which is glass blasted for texture and grip, giving it a chemical-free finish. This section attaches to the powder-coated steel base plate to eliminate rust and ensure the weight is at the bottom of your tea stand so that it never topples over. You see, we set out to design the perfect tea stand about 15 years ago. When we finished the first run, we discovered that they were more expensive to ship than the perches were even worth. So we redesigned the entire new Birdtrix tea stand system to break down into one foot sections. So all of it ships at a fixed price in this USPS flat rate mailbox. All that work came with the side benefit of having the ability to also convert it into one of these incredibly useful tabletop training stands by simply removing two of the sections. We personally use these tea stands to work with all types of birds from budgies on up to the largest of macaws. In the beginning, training is all about eliminating variables so that your bird can focus on the one thing you need it to focus on, you. The first thing that you'll notice is that we don't have any distracting cup holders or bowls. These stands are designed for training and not as an all day hangout session. By eliminating food bowls, we're giving birds one less potential distracting failure point. Next is the width and diameter of the perch. Our stands are only one foot wide, which is done purposely to focus your bird's attention on you and not aimlessly wandering back and forth along an oversized wooden dowel. Another distraction eliminated. Third on the list of requirements is height. Did you know that having too tall of a training stand is one of the main reasons people struggle with training specific tricks? Too tall and you risk losing your face while teaching the spin. And especially for those of you who are vertically challenged, having a perch that is too tall forces your body to get unnecessarily close to the bird in order to get your arms over their head, causing all sorts of additional problems. Material selection is also critical. When an aggressive bird takes a chunk out of the perch made of wood to show you what he would do to your face. I'm not here for this. Oh. See, he, and it's just like, yeah. now it's yeah. too high. Right on. Oops, go get my perch, please. <laughs> <laughs> It's instantly reinforced by that action alone, which makes your job of taming and training that much more difficult. PVC pipe perches are too slippery on their own and can require vet wrap, which can also serve as another potential distraction. So by making it out of aluminum, we can remain non-toxic while simultaneously eliminating yet another distraction. Just because other tea stands are sold for parrots doesn't mean that they were designed to optimize your training sessions. It also doesn't mean that they're safe. Oftentimes in flight training, I see those modified mic stands topple over or unscrew, causing the parrot to lose trust during a critical breakthrough moment, resulting in timely setbacks and a loss of trust. We've also seen countless tripod perches fall over, break, or worse, the trainers trip over one of the legs of the tripod, sending clipped parrots smashing to the tile floors below. Now we've poured over 43 years of combined parrot training experience into what we believe to be the perfect parrot training tea stand. So head on over to birdtricks.com now and order yours today. And also PS, if you're getting this training stand exclusively for smaller birds and you're concerned about the diameter of the perch, one tip that we recommend is attaching a small strip of like friction or skateboard type tape to assist those tiny toes with holding on. Smaller birds typically won't try to chew this off like many of the larger species might. Smaller birds typically won't try to chew this off. <laughs> and also, P.S. Jinx just killed that shot. <laughs>